Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the finale. So, this is all coming from Canada Graphs. It was about two weeks ago or so when this information was put out there. So, I'm a bit late on it, but I thought I would go back to it because I heard some talk about the finale the other day, and I was like, oh yeah, I remember Canada Graphs probably has posted something about this, and it turns out he has, so... Please go check out his blog, that'll be in the description below, and also follow him on Twitter because he is a great source of information in regards to what's happening on the sets. And also, you get to see some photos, which are always very good insights into what's going to happen in some of these episodes. But anyway, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be going over his blog, we're going to be going over his photos, and so this is how the blog starts. The first scene I came across had several cast in a scene. Melissa Benoist as Supergirl, David Harewood as Martian Manhunter, Nicole Maines as Dreamer, Jesse Raff as Brainiac 5, looks a bit different than I can recall, he says. Sharon Lil as Miss Martian and the stand-in for Kyla Lee was in the scene too, in some sort of black and blue hooded outfit so yeah big revelation here we've got the return of miss martian this is really exciting i had no idea she was returning until i checked this today and you can see via some of the photos which will be on the screen right now you can see the sort of gang they're all there but you see them from behind so you got sharon lil as miss martian in the middle you got Brainy with his new wig, we'll talk about that in a sec. We've got David and Melissa there as well, all in costume. Okay, so next photo you can see Sharon Lil as Mish Martian, so she's officially back, she's in a suit, obviously they're going to CGI her face after to make it green. And this is amazing because we haven't seen her since, I think it was season 2 the last time we saw her. I don't think she actually returned in season 3 or season 4. Definitely not season 4, but maybe once in season 3, I could be wrong about that. But as far as I can recall, just season 2. And so it's been a long time, basically, and I'm really excited because this is a big surprise, and yeah, maybe it's a bit of a spoiler, but nonetheless, this is exciting. So let's go back to the blog right here. So the scene had this group of heroes walking through a mob on a plaza, they get to the front and they seem happy about something, people were seemingly cheering, but there was also at least a couple background extras who looked up who were acting angry, including one walking away giving a thumbs down to whatever was going on. No other context of the scene really is known, that was it. After that as a wrap, they obviously went and filmed some other stuff after their lunch. but. Anyway, so talking about that, so they're in this sort of mob at this plaza with lots of extras and they seem to be happy about something, so people were seemingly cheering, so therefore you can obviously assume with this being the finale, they defeat, I guess it's Leviathan by the end of the episode. I know Lex was at the other set, which we'll talk about in a sec, so maybe Lex is working with them again, I'm not sure. But it seems like they've defeated someone, whoever turns out to be the main villain for the rest of the season. Obviously, we have to assume it's Leviathan, like, we don't know who from Leviathan they're defeating or something like that. But they're all suited up, so there's definitely been some sort of battle and there's some sort of need to bring back Miss Martian, or she was just around to help in the finale, but maybe it's something to do with Martians, maybe that's why she's back, because she's been on Mars and she's been, you know, fighting against the White Martians and basically trying to help, you know, the different factions that are still good within the White Martians and things like that. So, obviously she's back, but then at the same time, apparently in this crowd there's also people who are sort of acting all angry, including one person walking away, giving a thumbs down to whatever was going on. So, I'm guessing there is going to be two sides, maybe some people are, like, rooting for whoever they're defeating, and maybe some people are just happy that the superheroes have prevailed. And so, let's quickly go through some of these photos before we move to the second section of the blog. So we got another photo from behind, we've got our heroes all suited up and everything. I think Miss Martian's suit is the same, I could be wrong about that, but her cape is really cool in this photo. So we have another photo, and this is again just from behind, but you see David in this. And additionally, we've got Melissa as she is with Sharon Leal, and so I believe they're just talking, and this is like between scenes, 
But then we go to Brainy, and so Brainy's got a new haircut, and I'm not sure about his suit. His suit looks kind of like it's maybe new, but I guess it's kind of similar to the one they had before. It could be totally the same, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. But anyway, so he's got a wig on, so he has turned full on Brainiac. Obviously his face, maybe it's going to be CGI'd after. I'm pretty sure they use face paint normally when he's actually a different colour. But he's got a different colour hair, so is this our normal version of Brainiac? Like, what's happened to Brainiac? Has he sort of advanced in a different way to sort of be more like a traditional version of Brainiac? Who would have, like, white hair and stuff like that? So, I don't know what's going on, but he looks really cool, and I very much so dig this. Okay, so let's move on. We go to the next part of the blog. Again, go check out Canada Grass's blog in the description below if you haven't. Anyway, so the last location of the day was in a park. This location saw several casts at it. Melissa Bronis was on set as Kara. Katie McGrath was on set as Lena. David Harewood was on set as Jean. Jesse was there as Krill. Obviously Brainiac 5. Nicole Maines was there as Nia. And then we had Sharon Lil as McGann. Okay, so also on the set was John Cryer as Lex, like I previously mentioned. But apparently he was not shooting whilst he was there. So maybe it was seemingly there to speak some dialogue, he says. Anyway, so from what I could see of this scene, it seemed like the cast were hanging around this bench, seemingly having a good time, as there was a lot of laughter while the camera was rolling. Then suddenly something catches their attention and they all look up a bit. I never heard any dialogue for the scene, but their fun loving nature from these moments earlier seemed to change into a more serious look. The direction they were looking off camera was where John was standing, that being John Cryer, so perhaps it was something to do with Lex, but I can't say for certain. In some of the scenes you might see bubbles on the screen, this is because there was a child playing with a bubble blower throughout the scene, and there was someone playing a soccer dad. Okay, so this was from what he could recall the first location shoot that Supergirl had done, and more notably since Melissa announced that she was pregnant. And so just additionally I wanted to mention this, so apparently they're all in kind of good spirits since it was announced that Riverdale was shutting down production, and obviously that's a CW show, so, you know, we had to presume that this could happen to Supergirl and it shares a studio with Supergirl. So basically, they were not really worried about the issue as of right then. And then from what it sounded like the crew that Canada Grass was able to chat to, this was probably the last exterior shoot of the season. At this time, I believe there was no plans to shut down production for the show despite sharing a studio with Riverdale. So let's go back up and read what we just said. So. Melissa was there, Katie was there, David was there, Jesse was there, Nicole was there, Sharon was there as well as John Cryer, and John wasn't on screen, like he wasn't being recorded at any point, but we're pretty sure he was there for dialogue, so I guess Lex is going to be around for like the whole rest of the season, and so from what they could see, the cast was having a good time, so therefore the cameras were actually on them whilst they're having a good time, so seems like they were just hanging out at this bench as you can see from the photos on the screen right now so you've got all of them there in the photo you can only see like a small section of them Katie's there, Melissa's there, Sharon's there, David's there as their respective characters and it's obviously just a normal kind of situation apart from the fact that Katie's there as Lena so it seems like Kara and Lena are like friends again so it seems like most of the stuff is going to be sorted Lex is that I don't know if he's going to be a villain or if he's going to be like working with them. But anyway, it seems like McGann and John are going to be hanging out a bit as well, which is very exciting. And so at one point they look off and they seem to be all serious. So again, like that other scene we talked about earlier, maybe something off screen actually happens and perhaps it has something to do with Lex because Lex is there, John is there doing dialogue as well. So the last thing we need to go over is just a few of these photos, we've got two more. So we've got Melissa right here, she's just in her sort of get up as Kara the reporter. And the final photo we've got is of David and Melissa, and Melissa sitting on the bench. Obviously there was talk about how like, Melissa is pregnant by this point, and this was only a few weeks ago, and the announcement was like maybe a month ago from now, or maybe a tiny bit before then. So this was the last time and the first time we've seen her outside, so obviously she was sitting on the bench, but again, congrats to her, like, 
this is the best thing in the world. Anyway, so the last thing we need to talk about, because I personally talked to Canada Grouse and he would, was able to tell me, basically Supergirl wasn't able to finish the finale. They had two or three days left of filming, depending on if they actually finished filming on Friday the 13th of March. That was the final day that they were able to film and that's when everything got shut down and the productions were told they had to close. So depending on if they got that Friday done, it would be two days if they did finish it and if they didn't finish Friday, it would be three days left. And so they definitely have some shooting left to do to pick up and go back to and so basically we thought they were finished but because of how abrupt it was obviously we don't know if they got enough to like finish that finale episode and maybe they do have to come back and do some pickups here and there to sort of round out the episode because they did have two or three days left so yeah massive thanks to Canada Grouse for the help on this video and thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.